What's the amount of money one person in a marriage can spend without checking with the other? Ooh, um, hmm. Let's see. Because Enterprise Financial actually released a survey and found that number today. Okay. So for my boyfriend, it's $50. He can't spend 50 bucks without talking to you first. Right. For me, it's 1200 Okay. That doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> <laughs> you asked me. I'm telling you. I think I could spend up to like 1200 bucks before I before he goes, wait a minute, how much was that? Whereas him, maybe him's more, his, his is more like $5 because let me tell you why. He has all these black masks. He's obsessed with black masks. He's got one face. Okay. He came home today with two more black masks. Oh, like okay? a face mask? Yeah, face masks. He has okay. tons of them. He came home with two more, which they were only five bucks each. So apparently for him, it's $10. Because at $10, I was like, no more masks. Like, stop it. That's, I can't believe you didn't call me and go, can I buy two more masks? Because I would have said, no friggin' way. Um, for me, it's $1,200. So are the guys on the street now in Manhattan, are they selling masks? They are, but that's not where he buys them. He's got a store that he likes to go to. Okay. So a pharmacy. Whenever you walk down, it, it depends on the year and the season mm -hmm. for Manhattan. You walk down yeah. the street and there's guys selling photos or paintings or Rolexes or whatever. Right. So there are guys that are selling masks. Oh, yeah, from the very beginning. I mean, literally, remember, we were the epicenter in the very beginning. Mm -hmm. People had tables out like crazy, and they had face masks, and they had um, uh, regular kind of masks, every kind of mask you can think of, anything you could possibly need. Um, they had gloves. They had Purell. And not only that, they were putting machines with that stuff, all the things I just mentioned, in the subways. So there was, like, vending machines in the subways oh, as well. a vending machine for a mask? Yep. Really? Vending machines from, yeah, because you, there were all these pe places you couldn't go without a mask. And people were like, I don't have one. Where am I supposed to get one from? Uh, that vending machine over there, sir. Was it a decent mask or was it just a, like, oh, yeah. a piece no, of they cloth? Were, I mean, or? you had a choice. No, you can get one of those blue surgical masks. So they had like some a little bit nicer, but they were mostly those white ones or the blue ones. Now, the guys that sell the mask on the street... Can you get like a bedazzled one? Oh, are a, you? Oh my and god! One that that's says, all I they love New York and all that. Yes, hearts, lips, emojis, words. Mm -hmm. Um, all. I mean, I think I think I even saw. I almost bought one for you because I think I saw a Harley Davidson one. Oh, they got Harley ones. Well, it's fake. You know, it's not really. It's not from Harley Davidson. It's from the guy on the street. Yeah, because I can't find a mask anyway. You have to buy a mask online because you, you can't go into like a store and buy a mask. Yeah, you can. They're in, they're no, in hardware here. stores and pharmacies. Yes, your your local Walgreens has them. No, I would have to actually go into Walgreens and look around. It's not like they're right there. Oh, ours, as soon as you walk in, it's the first display you see, and there's tons of them, like camo and uh, leopard. They have camo and every ones? Oh, yeah. Everyone really? here has. I, I have like three different camo ones. So how many masks do you think you have? Well, what happened was at the very beginning, I just bought like two. And then I learned that a lot of them are disposable. So I got a box of the blue ones. And then my mother started buying like cutesy ones. So I have one with cherries and I have ones with like little doggies on them. And then she just started like every couple of months. Oh, one of my best friends who now moved to Philly sent me a, a we have a private joke of um, this emoji thing. She said, just today I opened a bag and there was a mask with those emojis on it. Oh, so, so pe people are sending me masks like crazy. And then a company sent me a bunch of masks because they want us to talk about it on the show. Um, Rafi Nova. They're mm -hmm. great. They're like, oh, they're the coolest masks in the world. And here I am talking about them. Um, yeah. Rafi Nova sent me these amazing masks that like they adjust and they have the little they have like a little Rafi Nova tag here, but it looks really cool. It's like a they're amazing. They're like so the what material. makes a mask a good mask? Uh, stays on your face really well, has the wire inside, but it's not uncomfortable. Um, the mask itself makes it you, f you forget you have it on because it's a nice material that makes you so you can breathe. Mm -hmm. um, it's material around your ears as opposed to Strings. a spring. So you don't even feel it around your ear. I had the mask on all day today and I was driving my parents car and I pulled up. My mother was like, you had the mask on while you were driving. And I was like, oh, I didn't even realize I still had it on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I was recommending the Rafi Nova mask. I still do. I think their stuff is Can amazing. you talk with it on? 
Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's. It's the most comfortable. It is the mask that everybody in New York is wearing right now. They they featured it in New York Magazine. It's it's a thing. Mm-hmm. So so Joe can't spend more than five bucks. You can spend, let's say, you find a pair of shoes for eleven hundred bucks. You can buy those shoes mm-hmm. without talking to him first. I have snuck things in. What I do is I don't talk to him. I know that he will say something to me. So what I do is I sneak things in. I hide it in my closet, and then like. You know, a few weeks later, a few days later, as we're getting dressed to go out to dinner, wherever we're going, obviously pre-COVID, um, I would just put them on and he would go, I've never seen those. I've really never seen these. I've, I've had them. <laughs> and then I just, you know, go ahead and wear would, them. Would they be 1100 bucks? I'm not spending that on shoes but anymore. But you were. Those, I was. Yeah, right. I did. Yeah, for sure. So if you found a pair of shoes that you liked and it said 1099 on it, you would buy it. Not anymore. But back then, let's say, let's oh, say yeah. five years ago. Are you kidding me? I have two of my favorite pairs of boots. They're fifteen hundred dollars each. <laughs> wow. I have two pairs of boots. I spent three thousand dollars on two pairs of boots. Yes, I did. That's crazy. So, I mean, I lost sleep about spending a huge amount of money on a mic. <laughs> You're talking <laughs> shoes. Okay. Uh, the average spending limit that you don't have to have a conversation. People said was. 400 and below 400 and below that's an interesting number 400 seems kind of random but all right yeah so if you spend more than 400 i guess you feel bad if you spend less than 400 because you can go to costco and spend 400 bucks oh easy in one shopping spree yeah i mean i went to walmart today and just really bought dog food and and biscuits and stuff like that it was 50 bucks so you know i think 400 is Still, if your spouse spent 300 and above, I'd still be like, what are you buying? I don't think it's the number. I think what they are spending it on, you know, like if, if he suddenly comes home with a brand new shirt, even if he got it at a thrift shop for $15, it's like he doesn't need any more shirts. We're not going out. We're not doing anything right now. But if he comes home and because he did some food shopping on the way home and spent $50 at the grocery store, I wouldn't say a word to him because it's groceries. It's stuff that we need. Mm hmm. So I guess it depends on what you're spending it on. You know, okay, our microwave broke and, you know, I'm such a great cook. I microwave everything. You don't um, know how to cook without it. I don't, I can't cook without it. If I, if I can't push no, right. five minutes start, that's me cooking. Um, so our microwave broke and he went out and just spent like $200 on a new microwave. And I didn't go $200. I was like, yeah, thank God he bought a microwave. Mm -hmm. But he came home with two masks he doesn't need. (laughs) So you have more of a problem with the $5 mask than you do the $200 microwave. Right. If we need it, spend any any amount of money if we need it. Mm -hmm. If we don't need it, I don't care if it's a dollar. You don't need it. 